Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel. And press bell icon to get notification when we post new video on channel. And if you have missed my previous videos, you can find links in the description box. In this video, you will learn Different modes of alarms and their meaning in Dreger Polytron 8000 series. And, how to set alarms in Dreger Polytron 8000 series gas detectors. First of all, we will learn about different modes of alarms and their meaning. First combination is latching and acknowledgeable. Latching means relay must be reset manually, and acknowledgeable means relay can be reset before the alarm condition clears. Second combination is latching and non-acknowledgeable. Latching means relay must be reset manually, and non-acknowledgeable means relay cannot be reset before the alarm condition clears. Third combination is latching and pre-acknowledgeable. Latching means relay must be reset manually. And pre-acknowledgeable means relay can be reset while the alarm condition is still present, but relay will not reset until the alarm condition clears. Fourth combination is non-latching and acknowledgeable. Non-latching means relay will reset automatically when the alarm condition clears, and acknowledgeable means relay can be reset manually. Fifth combination is non-latching and non-acknowledgeable. Non-latching means relay will reset automatically when the alarm condition clears. And non-acknowledgeable means relay cannot be reset manually before the alarm condition clears. Sixth combination is non-latching and pre-acknowledgeable. Non-latching means relay will reset automatically when the alarm condition clears. And pre-acknowledgeable means relay can be reset while the alarm condition is still present, but relay will not reset until the alarm condition clears. In this section, you will learn to set alarms in Dreger Polytron 8000 series. First of all, you have to have magnetic wand in order to access menu function of Dreger Polytron gas detectors. Now, Put the magnetic wand on down button for 3 seconds to enter in password menu. Factory default calibration menu password is dash, 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 1. And factory default calibration and setting menu password is dash, 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 2. Here, we need to access setting menu. So, we are going to enter setting menu password. So, when you see password menu, Press OK button 3 times to go to last digit then press up button 2 times to enter 2 in last digit, and press OK to enter password. As you can see from the picture that, if password is correct, you can see 3 options. Select settings option by pressing down button 3 times, and press OK button to enter in setting menu. In setting menu, Select Instrument option, and press OK to enter an Instrument sub-menu. As you can see from the picture that, select Alarm and Relay option, and press OK to enter in this menu. Now, select Alarm on or off option by pressing down button at once, and press OK button to enter in this option. Now, we want to set alarm on. So, select enable option by pressing down button at once, and press OK button after this. Now, we want to configure Relay A1 first. So, select Relay A1, and press OK button after this. As you can see from the picture that, this function has two options. First option is normally energized, and second option is energized on alarm. This function defines whether the alarm relay is energized during normal operation, or energized at an alarm condition. If the configuration of the relay is set to normally energized, the relay contact is asserted during normal operation, and changes if an alarm is triggered. 
Select normally energized by pressing down button at once and press OK button. After this, select back to menu and press OK button after this. As you can see from the picture that, select Relay A2 and press OK button after this. Relay A2 can be configured same way as Relay A1. So, select normally energized by pressing down button at once and press OK button. Now, select back to menu and press OK button to go back to alarm and relay menu. In this section, we will learn to configure alarm A1. First of all, select alarm A1 from menu options and press OK button to enter in this function. As you can see from the picture that, the current alarm set point is displayed. In order to change alarm set point, press up button at once to select value. Now, press OK button at once and first digit from left side will highlight. Use up and down button to change first digit from left side. Then press OK button to go to next digit. Repeat same process for all digits. When you have set desired set point, press down button to select next and press OK button after this. As you can see from the picture that, the current alarm direction is displayed. Use up and down button to select direction, and press OK button to confirm selection. After this, select next and press OK button to go to next configuration. Rising direction triggers the alarm, when the gas concentration increases from low to high. For example, toxic gas detectors and combustible gas detectors have rising direction. Falling direction triggers the alarm, when the gas concentration decreases from high to low. For example, falling direction is used in oxygen gas detector. As we know that, oxygen gas concentration is 20.9% of volume in the air. If this concentration start to decrease, falling direction will trigger the alarm. Now, let's go to next configuration. As you can see from the picture that, the current alarm latch mode is displayed. In order to change latching mode, use up and down button and press OK to confirm selection. After this, select next and press OK button. Latching means that once the alarm level is reached, the instrument will trigger the alarm. And it will remain in alarm status even if the gas concentration subsequently does not meet the alarm condition anymore. In other words, alarm will not reset automatically. It has to be reset manually by pressing OK button. In non-latching mode, the alarm status clears if the gas concentration does not meet the alarm condition anymore. In other words, it does not need to be reset manually. Now, let's go to next configuration. As you can see from the picture that, the current acknowledgement mode is displayed. Select acknowledgeable or non-acknowledgeable or pre-acknowledgeable and press OK button. After this, select next and press OK button to go to next configuration. Here, acknowledgeable means that the alarm relay can be reset before alarm condition clears. In other words, user can reset alarm by pressing OK button, even if alarm condition is still present. Non-acknowledgeable means that, the alarm relay cannot be reset until the alarm condition clears. In other words, user has to wait till alarm condition clears in order to reset alarm. Let's go to next configuration. As you can see from the picture that, the current hysteresis is displayed. Set the hysteresis by using up and down button, and press OK button after this. Then select next and press OK button. The hysteresis function defines an interval where a triggered relay maintains its status until the gas concentration is outside the defined interval. This prevents relays from chattering at an alarm set point. In other words, hysteresis is also known as dead band. Basically, it is difference between set point and reset point of alarm. Let's take one example to understand hysteresis function. Let's say, if alarm A1 is configured at 20% LEL. And if we have set 2% hysteresis. In this case, alarm will activate at 20% LEL, 
an alarm will reset at 18% LEL. Now, let's go to final stage of alarm settings. As you can see from the picture that, when you are done with alarm settings, all settings will be displayed on the screen. You can change any of the settings by selecting that particular configuration. Now, press down button until you see confirm. In other words, you can find confirm option after alarm acknowledgement function. Now, select confirm and press OK button in order to save alarm A1 settings. This step is very important to save settings. In other words, alarm settings will not be saved, if you forget to select confirm option. Now, alarm A2 can be configured same way as alarm A1. In other words, repeat same steps to configure alarm A2. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. If you have any questions regarding this video, please do ask me in comment box. I will try to give best possible answers to your questions. And please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification when we post new video on channel.